What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Infinifactory, and we are on the final mission of Production Zone 1. I'm so excited for this, and then of course we've got the mission conclusion briefing, but uh, we've got this final puzzle, the Solar Cell Array, and then we've just got these two last sections left to complete the whole game. It's been a long time since I started playing this game, but I don't really finish a lot of games, so I'm really excited to actually finish a game for once, and uh, we're going to keep going here with the Solar Cell Array. So I'm assuming... Okay, so we've got to build this. This looks, uh, this looks all right. It's got a flat slab. Okay, so the flat slab gets extruded there. And we have to put all these solar panel things onto it. Which come from this. So I'm pretty sure since there's no way to actually rotate this vertical, what we're going to do is we're going to take this satellite here. I think that's what this is. Uh, break the two solar panel pieces off of it. Make a wall of solar panels that's 3 by 5 And then make three walls of that slap them on and then use lasers to blast out the holes in the middle section i feel like that's how you have to do it because otherwise there's no way we're going to be able to weld these solar panels onto a proper um plate here like this let's just work on making a three by five wall out of the solar panels first and then deal with everything else so obviously this part's pretty simple we can just completely destroy that and uh just put a grinder really so there we go that'll completely destroy that one section and then we should be able to just take these pieces and uh stack them all up on one line like this all right perfect perfect all right and then we just have to make this into a three by five sort of wall piece all right so let's just lift it up and then make a wall section somehow so i believe if we lift it like this and it's going to be, I guess, a section of six, and then we'll just have to cut the end off. But I'm pretty sure this will work. So that'll lift up, go across, that'll get pushed down, that'll get pushed down. And then the next one will push that one, right? And then there we go. That's your finished wall piece. All right, so now we actually need to trigger this thing to kind of weld and then get pushed off. And I think we can attach welders to the front of a piston. So we'll kind of do that setup. So we can do a piston like this, and then we can put welders attached to the front of the piston. All right, so I think this works in terms of pushing the pistons. And then we're actually going to have to hook it up to, like, an AND gate. Because we can't just have it push on the one. Because, uh, see, that one would activate it. Okay, so that piston doesn't move at all. Interesting. Is it Can we? Is it because of this gap? Whoops, that's not what we wanted to do there. There we go. All right, I think that's what we needed to do. The welders can only be attached to one spot. And then this piston should basically just push it out. And we can actually put a little roller wheel on the top of it to help push it. Yeah, so see, as soon as that bottom one gets in place, it welds it. So we need to do an AND gate, which is really simple. We've done that before. And we'll do a triple AND gate just to make sure all three of these are lined up. Again, probably super excessive, but we'll just do it that way just to be safe and make sure that we actually get the whole piece. So uh, we'll have two pieces here, a conduit, and then this will be the free-floating conduit that drops and this one as well and then we'll connect the rest of that wire over to here perfect and that wire will power our piston assembly now one of these just has to come straight down like this and go into that side and the other one has to go into this this is getting really confusing for wiring perfect and then the final one has to go around and connect to that other piston there in the middle this is this is definitely confusing for wiring oh boy all right perfect just like that and then of course you need the uh retraction mechanism on the and gate which pushes it back so you need just a sensor like this and that sensor hooked into a piston of course directly underneath it so this might look a little bit confusing but really simply those two conduit pieces drop into place and when these three get powered it should work so that powers one two, three, and then all three of them move. Perfect. And that creates the whole assembly. And then we can actually just do this and put a little overhead guy like that. And that'll feed the whole assembly off this way, which is now one of our three stacks. And of course we need to shred off the extra piece. So this should work, I think, to create a three by five wall. Excellent. Push. Perfect. And there we go. We got a 3 by 5 wall. So now we need three of those to make this slab piece, which I'm assuming just constantly extrudes, right? It does. 
All right, so we'll get three of them here. Pretty simple stuff. We'll uh, put that. We'll put that onto a piston mechanism, and we'll just have three pistons. Just keep them separate that way. It's going to be a long, long time. So we're definitely going to have to jam the extrusion so it just kind of stops. And uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right, so I think we'll stop the extrusion just somewhere. I don't know, maybe somewhere around here. Something like that. And then that way, once it extrudes out to that point, it'll stop moving completely. This is going to be a very, very, very slow process. We only get like six solar panels at a time. Oh, of course. Of course. No, we need to we need to move this whole piston mechanism back. You know, there's a lot of levels that we could have done a lot quicker, I'm realizing, by using the whole pistons, welders, mounted together thing. I really should think about that a lot more. There's definitely levels where I'm thinking now where we did some weird welding stuff that just could have been solved so much quicker with that simple welders mounted to a piston. What, wait, what, what, what is going on here? Whoa, what, how'd that happen? What, 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 hold on, hold on. How did that happen? Well. How are you all, how are you guys all jammed up? Listen, listen, okay, let's just do it like this. Is that the problem? Okay, that's fixed now. Okay, perfect. All right, that was weird. We've got all our pieces now, and we'll bring them down. Now, this slab piece is actually going to be really cool. So it's going to come off here, and then what we're going to do is these three are just going to get routed off and sort of meet up with where they need to go. So this one will come off this way, and I think it should be able to just drop down like this. And actually, I think what we want to do is we want to take this whole assembly and actually move it out a little bit more just to make our lives easier. So we'll bring it out to here. One can stop here and then skip across. The next one could stop here and then skip across. And the final one can stop here. And then when it stops, it'll actually deploy all of them to move down and push them right off this into position onto the slab. So hopefully this kind of reduces a little bit of the time it takes and we should just be able to bring this across and I think it's right like out here perfect so hopefully this is all lined up nicely so we've got one stack of six it's gonna stop uh, of course this is off by one okay all right so there's one stack it'll stop there but then when the next stack comes it'll push it past that point perfect and then we'll just speed up a little bit more. This is a very, very, very slow process. My goodness. Okay, perfect. So all three of them get deployed. And this should drop them into the proper positions on the slabs. Does it work? Oh, it's a little too far. Okay, so we'll reduce the slab distance by one. Just like that. And then we'll weld them all together just in this one spot. So as soon as they land, they'll weld, and then we can put a sensor on it, some lasers, blast the whole thing, and then I think we're pretty much good to go. This is actually not that bad, so we'll just put a welder like this, and we'll weld up, and up, and up, perfect, and then we need a sensor uh, to read, I guess, this bottom one here. So when that sensor triggers, we'll have a couple lasers here which will cut the one groove in between the solar panel arrays, and then the other laser here, which will cut the other groove. Uh, those need to be three high, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, and then we'll do one final laser, which will be down here, and this will actually cut the slab piece off from the rest of the slabs, and then that way it should be good to go. So we should be able to go like this. All right, so that's all connected up, and I think... This is actually the entire assembly. And then this piece here, we can just feed off and bring it over like this. And then hopefully just put it into the right spot that it needs to go. So I think this is going to work. Hopefully. All right, let's see what it does. Perfect. So that cuts it. I'm worried this slab is not going to be fast enough. Like once we break off the slab piece, the next set of, you know, solar panels might just come too quickly. But I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out. I mean, we can always play with the timing if we have to. How's our solar panel assembly going? It's a little bit jammed up. That's fine. Oh, no, that's... Why is that slab already... Oh, shoot. Shoot. This sensor has to be higher up here. Hold on. Wanted to trigger the sensor on the solar panel, not on the slab itself. That would make a lot of sense. All right, so let's try this again. Fast forward. Perfect. 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 All three drop into welding position. Weld, cut, amazing. Oh, look at this. 
Look, is it gonna work? Oh, come on. Oh, perfect. Awesome, and it's into position. Good to go for the next one. So pretty sure that is not the most efficient way to do this. That was what, 150 cycles per? Almost even more? I'm trying to think what's a faster way to get those solar panels. I mean, you can't rotate the parts. So how, how do you get the array faster? You can't make a bunch of pillars of three. I'm sure someone in the comments though will tell me how to do this a lot quicker. That's usually what happens, but I really, really like this. I'm really glad that I thought of this whole piston pushing thing. I always forget about that, and I know it's a thing. Just like in Minecraft, you can attach, you know, objects to pistons, and I really should think about that a lot more because you can do much more complicated assemblies in a much more compact area using that exact method, and I just always forget about it, make these static things, and it's just a waste of time. But let's fast forward here, get through it, and uh, perfect. This is a very, very, very slow process. Takes forever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It stopped. Why did it stop? How did that happen? How- how did- how- I don't- how did this happen? How did- what- how are we gonna- How are we gonna fix that? Um, obviously there's a jam up happening here. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just bring this down. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's because these are at two different heights. Yeah, that, that, that looks better, right? Now they don't get jammed on top of each other. I think the one was like riding the other in and then they got jammed up. Uh, okay. That looks good. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So it got jammed at six last time. That's excellent. Make more now. Yeah, I think the problem was it was definitely one landing on top of the other, and it was just getting- It was weird that it got jammed after, like, six products, though. It makes no sense to me why it would happen at that point. I guess something to do with the cycle rates and the spawning speed of the satellite, I don't think perfectly matches, you know, how fast that we're actually producing them. I mean, we need, what, like, three- six satellites per- no, six per side? Oh, we need a lot of satellites. It's just- it's just a whole mess. But regardless, we are gonna finish this now. Really, really excited about it. Of course, let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below. We're almost done. I'm so excited. I've never actually really finished a puzzle game like this before. And I am super excited to actually get through the last couple chapters of puzzles. But of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So definitely on the cycles with everyone else. Uh, terrible with the footprint. And terrible. With, I'm not good at this game, guys. I, I never I never have been. It's just, you know, that cycle score is pretty much right with the average, actually. Most people couple people are tryhards, but really, really fun. I'm super excited. And of course, we'll listen to the mission conclusion here. We now have all the parts needed to finish the shipyard. Cool. With the completion of that, we will be able to begin construction of our fleet and hopefully a functional skip drive that will allow us to return to our home planet and continue our mission to defeat the Overlord. All right, so we've apparently built a shipyard. I didn't even realize that's what we were doing. A structural frame, I mean, docking clamp, structural frame, anti... Yeah, I guess, I guess it could be a shipyard. Of course, we're going to move on to Atropos Station and this hidden section, which I have no idea what that is. But of course, let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time.